Hi oh, folks, welcome to another video. Before we get into the video, as always, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're informed of all the videos as and when I do them. Please have a look in the description box below, check out my French channels. Uh, there's links to their YouTube channels, uh, their Facebook uh, pages and their Instagrams. Um, if you want to support my channel a little bit more, um, please consider buying some merch from my Teespring store. Links for that's in the description as well. We have uh, t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, all sorts of products and all sorts of colours, so please check that out. Right, so today's video, um, I want to show you how to do um, a return lip. Now, I made this wheel up for a hot rod a little while ago, and I had a few people ask me how to do this uh, return lip, you know, so it, it looks factory and it's a nice, clean, non sharp edge. So, that's the edge, as you can see, it's nice and clean, it's not sharp, and uh, it's just rolled back on itself and then flushed to the panel. So, you know, it, for all intents and purposes, well, it, it looks like a factory lip. Now, I've got this little piece of metal, it's actually a, the, an off cut from the arch and I'll just put a little bit of shape in it to show you what we can do. Um, all I'm using is this. It's a little tool that I made, this happens to be um, a handle off of an old tile cutter and all I did was just square the end off, uh, put a little slice down the middle of it and then I just took the edge back as well so then I've got a bit more clearance. So you can use this technique to just do a normal return on a normal wheel arch or even just like a flange, you know, I mean I've used it for wheel arches, have a look up here somewhere, uh, there's a video of me doing um, a, a wheel arch on a Mark II Golf, um, here's a picture of uh, a mini that I did, I had to tub that arch out, and I use the exact same technique, the exact same method, the only difference is um, how big you make the little slot in the tool, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it on you know it's, it's curved all round so it's a nice little shape and it really is so simple all you do is hook it over the edge and then you just tweak it now the key is to do it very very slowly in very small little steps and then that way it will slowly stretch and shrink itself round constantly push it in into the metal As you see, I'm not, not moving it a lot. I'm just slowly going around. And then, this is one of those jobs where it's tedious, but the end result is, is fantastic, I think. Um, I say, you know, you, you can do this um, you know, just to make a, a return flange on a, uh, a repair panel, or you can do it for wheel arches. You know, the, the possibilities are endless with it, really. You, know, you just adapt the technique to, to whatever you need to do. I so say you just want to go slowly so you don't crease it or kink it. Yeah. Always pushing in. And uh, just go around slowly. The key to this, believe it or not, is actually taking your time, not rushing it, and everything else. So, so all I've done is just gone around it once, and you can just about see that edge coming in. Just sit clearer on that side, and it's followed it all the way around. And it hasn't deformed it so it's just a matter of yeah like I say just slowly that's, that's all you need it's just that initial start and then just keep going and going and going
So we've got it to this stage. Got a lip all around it, a nice clean edge. Um, with, if, you, if I was doing a thicker edge, I could probably get it around a little bit more. But because it's this thin edge now, it just, it just wants to pop off. Um, probably see, I mean, uh, there's a couple of places where you know it's really tight in the corners and it's sort of tucked up, so I'll just use the hammer and dolly. But you know, as long as you keep it nice and easy, uh, nice, nice and even, sorry, you'll have a crisp line all the way around. So now we've got to this stage, it's just a matter of using a hammer and dolly and then finishing it off. Again, still going slowly, still going all the way around, and uh, yeah, and just not going too far because otherwise it'll stretch and distort the actual panel. So, we'll start with this corner here because we can get that round that far, and then get that so it's at the 90 degrees, same as everything else, and then just go round. I'm just using my, uh, my beat the bag to hold the dolly in place, um, and it's just a matter of just working out what shape you've got, you know, and then just getting a dolly to see. You're not following the dolly necessarily, you know, completely, but you do want to support the panel, you know, so you don't distort it too much. Again, you know, real light taps, you know, I'm not working too much, I'm not putting any kinks in, not putting any tucks in, you know, just real slow and delicate. So we've got it to this stage, you know, the, the edges are pretty much there. Um, yeah, I put a little dent in there, so I'm not quite sure where I did that. Um, yeah, so now we've got it to this stage, we want to sort of close it up. Now the key is not to hit it on that edge and then flatten it. We just want to close it so it's touching. So we've got a relatively high crown hammer, and then we're just going to carefully go around it. Once we've got it all touching, then we can go around and sort of adjust the thickness as we go. Edge. If I spend a little bit more time on this, you know, I could get that pretty flat, pretty flush. And um, this was just a quick one, just to sort of demonstrate the technique. But you know, 
that's not quite a lot of curve in it as you can see but yeah that's you know, I mean ideally you wouldn't do it sort of this tight around here but you know you can you know if I spent a little bit more time going around it you know I'd have had a more even finish but that's the basic idea you know it's it's great if you're doing sort of wheel arches for motorcycles or you know like that hot rod that I did you know even sort of um, you know door bottoms or you know if you want to make a lot of custom fuel uh, flat or something like that yeah you know, it's, it's ideal for that you know you can go inside outside you now that was just a test piece that I just cut off it was actually enough cut off from the, uh, the arches to be fair so I just thought I'd show you that's it yeah so that's it um it, it's one of them the, the more time you take on it the, the better it'll be you know it's it's not a complicated thing there's no as you see there's no specialist tools involved there's no specialist techniques it, it's just one of them that just takes time you know keep having plenty of breaks because otherwise your hands get fatigued um, i mean I, I just did that quickly and roughly it took me probably about an hour and a half you know if i'd have spent probably two three hours on that and really sort of doing it a bit bit slower you know i'd have had a neat finish um obviously i haven't finished the edge off you know but to get that nice and um crisp edge you know just keep going around you know the, the key is when, when you're finishing the same as any panel work you know you make sure your hammer's flat you don't want to be digging the edges in you know just take it easy you know so it, it, it um, it stretches incrementally rather than ending up with tucks and rolls and all sorts of shit. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I want to do, I want to keep doing a, a few of these sort of techniques and tips and tricks videos to, to show you. So if there's anything specific that for like your own project that you want to sort of know how to do, uh, just drop a comment and I'll uh, I'll try and do it. Um, also, I was speaking to Arco at Outlaw Edge and we was we was talking about doing this. We've been talking about it for a couple of months actually. You know, and what we're going to do is we're going to show some techniques, but show two different approaches from it. You know, not not necessarily using um, like a lot of power tools or whatever, but there's no real right or wrong way to, to tackle something like this. You know, we, we all have our own approaches, so so that's what we we're sort of thinking. You know, we'll, it, it won't. There's a lot of videos out there would be like make a door bottom for a specific vehicle or a scuttle panel for a specific vehicle. We we, we want to try and avoid that and just show basic techniques like how to put a roll on an edge, how to put a swage line in, stuff like that. So again, anything specific that you want to see, drop a comment and uh, we'll try and do a video. Um, Arco will try and do uh, a video. But the, the same outcome, but a different technique. That's, that's the idea of what we're trying to do. Um, yeah, so I hope you like this sort of video. Um, yeah, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if, if you do. Subscribe, as I said. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Check out my friends in the description and I'll, uh, I'll see you for the next one. Bye.